few words from our sponsors. Before you go and visit anyone, please make sure you check out their website to make sure that what I'm telling you today still t- stands true. Thank you again to all of our sponsors for making the show possible, especially during the pandemic. Now is the time to pre-order using Herbology's website. This allows the team to fulfill your order quickly and with minimum contact. Herbology's number one priority is the safety of you and their team. You can call their Westminster store at 443-487-4552 or their Gaithersburg store at 240-654-0911 for more information and visit myherbology.com for additional details. Thanks, Herbology, for the support. Evermore is working hard to ensure that each transaction is safe both for the customer and the employee. And to help facilitate this, they are asking you to order ahead online and use CamPay. They are working extremely hard to make sure that you have the essential medicine that you need. And you can visit them at evermorecompany.com for more details. Thank you, Evermore. The team at Pure Life Wellness is working overtime to ensure they're able to remain open and continue to serve the community. We can help them by ordering ahead, signing up um, for campaign or using their new debit system and making sure we maintain our distance when we go into the store. Visit them at Pure Life Baltimore for all the details. Cannabis Science Conference has moved to June 29th through July 1st. You can visit CannabisScience.com to purchase tickets and use the code MJ25 to get 25% off your tickets. I am so excited to get back out there and see all of you. So come geek out with me at the Cannabis Science Conference. Thanks, Josh and Andrea and the entire team for supporting Conversations with Mary Jane. As a result of COVID-19, Peak Relief asks that if you need to obtain medicine, order online or call them at 301-703-2400 to place that order ahead of time. All orders must be placed using the online system on their website or by calling them. Additionally, please allow for one hour for them to process the order before picking it up. While we do anticipate longer than usual wait times, they are encouraging patients to use, to wait in their vehicles and to take advantage of curbside delivery. While visiting inside the facility, all patients will be required to maintain a safe social distance of six feet from all other patients and from the staff. They've indicated areas on the floor and the seating so you can make sure that you're maintaining that distance. Um, And they're asking all patients to abide by these new protocols. In fact, I do know, I just saw on Instagram that you need to wear face masks when going into the store. So add that to the list um, that you need to do if you are going in. That's why they're so encouraging you to do website um, ordering or call them so you can do the curbside pickup. In fact, I've been doing it when I've been visiting dispensaries. And although I do miss seeing everyone's face, does make it a lot safer safer and easier for everyone involved. A few other important notes about Peak Relief, their hours are still 10 to 8 p.m. You can sign up for their newsletter and text messaging so you can stay up to date with all the information at their website. If you have any questions or concerns, email them at info at peakrelief.com or you can call them at 301-703-2400. Thank you, Pete Greeley, for your commitment to the community and to the show. Southern Maryland Relief is committed to the safety of their patients and staff during the COVID-19 pandemic. Temporarily, they've changed their hours from 10 to 7, Monday through Saturday, and 11 to 6 on Sunday. They also have some new protocols. As you go into the store, make sure you have your ID ready. They're going to ask you to hand sanitize. You'll be wearing gloves. There's red tape on the ground so you know how to stand six feet away from everybody. And additionally, only eight people are allowed in the store at a time. So at a time. So if you can imagine having your patients when you visit them would be helpful as they are working through new protocols to keep all of us safe. You can visit them at somdrelief.com to place your online order. You can also request curbside pickup when you arrive at the store. So take a look at their website to learn about all their new protocols and the best reminder that they give please remember to spread kindness during these challenging times. Thank you, Southern Mountain Relief, for your support and that beautiful reminder. 
I met James back in the spring of 2019, so almost a year ago. And despite being in the best health of my life, I still was sick, <clears throat> anxious, and depressed. And over the course of the last year, we have worked week by week, discovering what food works best for my body, creating meditation and mindfulness practices that set me up for my best day, and preparing my body, mind, and spirit holistically for daily challenges. My work with James has been transformational and has provided me the strength, courage, and equanimity needed to live the life that I want. If you suffer from chronic pain or illness, and if you feel like you have tried everything and still haven't found relief, maybe my holistic wellness coach, James, can help you. You can reach out to him at james at sparkvisionnow.com. Thanks, James. Hey, everyone. Welcome to a bonus episode of Conversations with Mary Jane, the 420 edition. Today, I would like to share with you the full episode of my friends, Jessica and Matthew. I met Jessica, I think, seriously, day one when I was started in the cannabis industry up at NCW. She was waiting in the waiting room. She had all heart and came and introduced herself to me because I am oddly enough, very shy sometimes. And um, over the course of the last two years, I have loved watching her health journey. She's a completely different person. And along with her partner, Matthew, they are a couple that push each other to become healthy, not only physically, but mentally and spiritually. And I loved everything that we talked about from health to our love of 420. So I wanted to share their full conversation with you today. Thank you, Jessica and Matthew, for not only being the advocates that you are, but for opening up your personal life to all of us so that we can have an example to follow. On to the interview. How are you guys hey. doing? Good. Good. How are you? Good. good. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Crazy ass storm. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't even talking about the literal storm. I meant everything going on in the world. <laughs> no, that's what I was talking about too. Um, yeah, I have to like remind myself that we're in some kind of craziness because it's like weird to remember. I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah. Because like, life goes on. Yeah. Mm hmm. How um, I see that you guys are doing a ton of gardening. Yeah. Uh, eating good. Like yes. learning to give myself the proper nutrients that I need to yeah. keep feeling, which you know all about mm -hmm. that. Oh, it's, it's been, key. It's been so enlightening and like it's made a traumatic difference. Like huge, huge tremendous. Yeah. Like it's just been, it's, it's been cool to figure out like what spices to use mm -hmm. and just every, all the healing properties you can find possible. What's like been some of the changes you've made? Um, cutting out processes. That's number one. <laughs> I mean, on. I just lost you. Oh, no yeah, worries. We cut out a lot of processes. Started, buy, started to buy all fruits, organic vegetables, local honey, local whatever we can. Yeah. Keep it. Wait, explain that. Well, with the allergies, you're able to reduce the allergies and you know, or at least control them more through having... Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know. <laughs> Look, well, so, yeah, I sprinkle yeah, bee I pollen mean, on like stuff. Hmm. Wow. It's well, the same thing. It's just more, I think it's like more concentrated. And just because oh. honey spikes my blood sugar, and even though I use some of it every day, I can't take enough honey to affect my allergies. So it's like a little oh. crunchy, like little crunchy thing. They have zero taste. And it's kind of the it's same awesome. thing where you, if if you buy local honey, they should have bee pollen. Okay, like, have yeah. Or you can put it in pills or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the process exactly. thing cool. is probably the best thing that I ever did. Like if it's yeah. put together by yeah. someone else, yeah. you shouldn't need it. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. Definitely. I've I mean, even like juicing, I've been doing a lot of juicing and adding mm. in ginger for the inflammation and just like different things and learning how much inflammation, juicing celery bites off. I mean, going through surgery 
you have a lot of inflammation afterwards. You yep. have inflammation from the injury, period. So yep. you got to get rid of that as fast as possible, or that's when diseases start happening and manifesting within your body. Yep. Um, so I'm just work I'm working really hard. Like I'm working so hard and I'm listening to myself. Yeah. I'm really just listening to my body and what I need, what's going to suit me best. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool. I'm enjoying it. I get, I have my days where I get frustrated. The healing is a really slow process. In an instant, things change, but then, mm -hmm. like, your health can go downhill, but then there's a process to get it better. Yeah. And you, you get frustrated sometimes. Oh, yeah. But that's where the cannabis comes in. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I yeah. think the yeah. biggest lesson I ever learned with getting healthy is change takes a lot more time than anyone ever wants to think. And progress is not linear. Mm -hmm. And so it's like up, down, up, down, but you're always kind of moving forward. It's just not that much of a straight line. It sometimes can be a sales case. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you can have your moments where you go up and down. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, the further and further I get away from things and what happened, I'm healing more and more. Um, yeah. It's just taking its time. It's yeah. a process, but I do see, I do see the movement forwards as opposed to going back. So we're doing good. <laughs> that is amazing. And I'm really excited that you guys are going to be part of our 420 episode. I'm just asking everyone to answer one of those three questions. And so what in for each of you to answer? So Matthew, why don't you go first and tell us like either your favorite time your first time or when you realized medical cannabis really was doing something for you? Well, I've always kind of known that medical cannabis was doing something for me. Mm -hmm. I was, I've been an activist for medical cannabis since I was in middle school writing papers on it yep. all the way up to my senior year. And I still have some of those papers I wrote back in grade school. And I didn't actually start using it in a medical sense. Like I just kind of smoked, smoked, never actually started taking it seriously medically in the past year and a half when I started making my own medicine, my own mm -hmm. capsules, my own food. It's been tremendous being able to use the terpenes and find out what terpenes do what and what they help with. Yeah. I have come so far and it's helped me progress so much just in this past year and a half. That's awesome. And it's so cool that it's so new because for me, it's pretty new too. So it's like eye opening and I'm still learning every day. Absolutely. When I lived in like California during the medical process, I, they didn't have terpenes and stuff like that. It was more of like a party scene. This yeah. med uh, Maryland medical community we have here is amazing. Oh yeah. When I went to California the first time and I was like, <clears throat> can I see the terpene profile? And they're like, we don't have that. It was like, oh, wait, let me, let me talk to someone on your medical side. They're like, no, we don't test for that. And I'm like, Ew, <laughs> what? Wow. How am I supposed to? What? Yeah. Do you know, do you know what a cannabinoid is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, thanks for sharing that with us. And I, and I okay. know you advocate so hard and I've loved watching you help Thank Cecil you. County understand how it can be used as medicine. What yes. about you, Jessica? Um, okay, what was the question? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so either like share your first time you ever consumed cannabis or maybe one of your favorite times or when you realize like medical cannabis was working for you. Oh, I'm actually going to, um, when medical cannabis started working for me, nice. uh, it's when I, when I started noticing myself being able to get off the pharmaceuticals. Yeah. And, and that was the first step to many. Um, every single time you medicate is an important part of progressing forward. So they're all equally important. But yeah, like that, when I first noticed was like, Hey, I can get off, get off these pills. I don't, I don't need them like that anymore. I feel like I'm getting better. So, yeah. Yes. It's almost it really like, did you feel like you had a path that opened up to you that you didn't yes. know existed? Yes. You just kind of knew this is what life was going to be like. But then all of a sudden it was like, whoa, wait a second. Yeah. It doesn't need to be exactly. this way. Yes. Yeah. That, that's your hitting the nail right on the head. It's, 
there was like a path that opened up in my, it was like an awakening. Wow. Yeah. There's more out there in life than what I realized, what I've been told for so long. And yeah. so yeah, it was, it was cool. It was really neat. I, I feel very blessed. I really do. Yeah. You guys are just a couple that has come together to help each other heal. Like I watch you guys really support one another and push and literally the change from the first time that I ever met you. I can see it in your face. Like there is tremendously glowing today, like literally glowing. And so, I mean, truth to I feel everything alive. you said. Yeah. I feel so alive. Yeah. I just, I, it's, it's night and day. Um, it's, yeah. it's neat. <laughs> that really is cool. awesome. I mean, people say that they see the change. I'm like, wow. Cool. You have a rosiness in your cheeks that was not there before. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I felt and looked like I was dying. Yeah. Was well, we all, at some point, if you are sick or had any addiction issues, that's all we were doing. Just dying a little bit faster than everyone else so you could visibly yep. like watch it and so and now we're flourishing right and that's now what, we're moving forward progressing <laughs> and encouraging others to progress yeah, yeah definitely i am so thankful that you guys are out there like spreading the word telling your truth and bringing um what takes a lot of courage because it is still very stigmatized oh absolutely be, who we are and to see it as medicine. So I appreciate all the work that you guys are doing. Thank you for all that you do, Jeff. Yeah, thank oh. you for what you do. Oh, you, stop. You've taken it to a big platform where you're able to spread the word. That's, it's awesome. It's awesome yeah. to watch you grow as a person. Oh, <laughs> we all started, right? Like that's what's yeah. been cool. Is, start somewhere. Yeah, we're yeah. all just kind of out there trying to make a difference in the world. Well, happy early 420. I hope that 420 on Monday is amazing for you guys. Happy 420. And you guys are quarantined, so puff, puff, pass. Everyone else, yeah. puff, puff, don't pass. That's right. right. <laughs> Remember six feet apart. That's right. Well, I will catch you guys next time, and we'll still do the full interview. Don't worry about that. That This is literally just like – a five minute video that we're putting out about 420. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful that we could be a part of it. And I'm, yeah. I'm, thank you. Thank of you course. for asking us to be a part yes, of it. Thank you. Have a great evening and I will you catch you guys later. Happy Bye. Easter. Have a great day. Bye.